What's going on everybody? I'm coming at you with a different video and today, or I should say tonight, we're doing uh, another Burbank Spotlight video. We're here at the Blue Room in Burbank, okay? Uh, I have a sentimental uh, attachment to this place. I know, this I know. place has been here at least 40 years, 30 <clears throat> years. I'm I, Ever since I turned 21, it's been open, so I'll tell you that. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was like 18 or like 17, I remember like conversing with adults and they were just like, oh yeah, we're gonna go hang out at the Blue Room. And I just thought that was like a really cool. Hey, place look who to it be. is! My favorite color is blue. Oh, oh, how are you doing? Oh, you're 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 hanging out with us tonight, Mr. Wet Movie One. Well, I, I thought you guys forgot about me. <laughs> you guys are just kind of like go on your own adventures. <laughs> well, well, how can we ever forget about you, man? Yeah, I, mean, it's, I think it's kind of easy. Clearly, you're you're unforgettable. <laughs> yeah. And we have Jacob here too. Yeah, so we also oh. got we got Jacob here with us. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna. You've been here before, Jacob, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go back now, there and check it out. It is uh, cigar friendly. So it is cigar friendly. So we took the initiative and we actually bought a few cigars at Cigar Sanctuary over in North Hollywood. Uh, we got, I think it's an Asylum Medulla. That's the name of the cigar. So we're going to showcase that a little bit. Does, this, does yeah. this place have cocks? Oh, oh cocktails. Yes. All right. All I saw was cocks. This is a PG channel, Brendan. Yeah, 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 Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's a Sorry. PG. Yeah. <laughs> Something I want to highlight is that tonight it is a full moon tonight. Full moon at the Blue Room. And it's a full moon in the sign of Virgo, okay? And uh, for those of you guys that don't know, whenever there's a full moon, it's always in the opposite sign of the sun sign, okay? So right now we're in Pisces season, and so therefore the opposite sign of Pisces is Virgo. So right now the full moon is in Virgo. So if you got any placements with Virgo or Pisces, you're probably, really feeling it right now comment below if uh, anything chaotic is happening to you at this time all right so here's the uh, the front and they have a nice little outdoor patio here we're gonna go inside in a little bit but right now we're here at the patio all right so we got the spot. We got the spot. We got a very nice spot. Right here. Very nice. Cool. So here's the cigar. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's Asylum 13, and it's Medulla. We got the same one, but I have the wrapper off. <clears throat> oh, okay. So that's how we kept uh, tabs on that. Yeah. Okay. Very, very nice. Uh, no, just so you guys know, this is cash only. So if you guys brought some cash... Um, one of the few bars bourbon is cash only. Nice. And that's a real candle that ain't no uh, fake shit. <laughs> no, it's real. Real trees and... Yeah, you probably know the answer to this. Um, there's been like plenty of movies and shows like shot here. Like which ones can you think of? Well, the the one that comes to mind is Memento, the Christopher Nolan's early earliest film. <laughs> um, you've seen that one, Brennan, right? Yeah. Uh, that one's actually pretty solid, man. It's one of my favorite Christopher Nolan flicks. Yeah. With, it, uh, with it, Guy Pierce and stuff. Yeah, it goes. It, it's weird. He has like a a memory problem. So like the movie is kind of like in reverse. Like the scenes are kind of like backwards. Yeah. So you kind of feel what he's feeling, but you're not sure what's going on either because it's the movie's going backwards. And one of the one of the scenes, the girl here spits in his cup, and then the scene after he drinks it without remembering that she spit in the cup. So. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go inside. We'll yeah. definitely show what it looks like on the inside. But uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get you guys lit up, and then we're gonna start off the night, and then we'll probably get some drinks later. So, Sounds good. Cool. The blue flame uh -huh. at the blue room. How is it? That is good. Yeah, first yeah. it's pretty good. It's well worth the ten bucks. Yeah, that was like ten fifty. Wow, which is a great price <clears throat> for a cigar. Yeah. Look at you being fancy, lighting yourself up like that. Yeah, it's usually you lighting me up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's do that. I kind of like when you do it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it looks funny too when you're lighting it because you're also holding your camera. Yeah, very true. There we go. <clears throat> Like this one in the house cigar in Glendale, they're both only ten bucks. Yeah, and they're like these are some of the best ones. Yeah, these are really good ten dollars cigars. Yeah, I have a question to ask you guys though. 
since you guys, are, you know, I'm the only one not smoking because I'm not really, you know, I have enough addiction problems. <laughs> but what got you into cigars? Like, what was it that was just like, I want to try this, and what what spearheaded all this? I mean, I got tired of smoking like really cheap, crappy cigars, like Black and Miles. I just didn't want to do it. Anymore. Yeah, we started yeah. with Black Miles and Sh Swisher Sweets and Backwoods and all that stuff. So. I think, wasn't it you that said, let's go to a lounge? Or yeah, I was like, yeah, let's go to that cigar lounge. Let's just walk in, check it out. And then yeah. we, you know, saw cigars that were like $10. And we're like, okay, well, let's just try out a, just a $10 cigar. And we could definitely tell the difference in comparison. So Yeah. For some reason, like, I think the first one we went to was uh, the Shivas in Pasadena. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then after that was Cigar Sanctuary. Plus, we kind of had a, not a really a drinking problem, but... We were we found ourselves at bars a lot on the weekends, so I think the cigar kind of eliminates that whole thing because we're still yeah. we're we're still being social and we're still spending you know a couple hours. But you're more day. sober. I'm you're sober. more you're more sober and you're more clear. And, I, I feel great. You know? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is about these places, I'm not a smoker, like I said. But I like I like the ambiance. I like just like just the hangout part of things. Yeah. You know what I mean? It kind of I don't know. It's like, kind of like a fun vibe. Just to, even if you're not a smoker, just to come and hang out with your friends. You know? Exactly. As you can see, this is a designated smoking area. We can definitely smoke here. Oh yeah. All right, I'm excited. So shout out to the Facebook group Cigar Connoisseurs. That's how I found out about this cigar. And so that was how I found out about the Amazon Basin. So I'm ready to see if uh, this is also good. Didn't I tell you that something crazy was going to happen tonight? Yes. Yeah, it's a full moon tonight. It's freaking crazy. So this is a, yeah, this is a mandula. And uh, one of the reasons why this also caught my attention, because I remember that there's a part of the brain called the medulla oblongata. So I made a mental note. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that cigar just because it maybe has something to do with the brain. So I have no idea, but first draw, pretty good. Pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. You know what I do find interesting, though? What? The smoking section is right next to this propane tank. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a little strange. Yeah, this, it's right, like, we're, like, two feet away from this thing. And then a bunch yeah. of shrubbage, you know, stuff up here. Yeah. But anyways, that's uh, besides the point. We're, we're pretty responsible guys. Yeah, we're pretty responsible guys. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go inside. I'm going to get a mocktail. That's kind of something, like, I've been uh, doing lately is uh, just having beverages that are just non-alcoholic. Uh, I think like a few nights ago I had a Shirley Temple. Uh, and tonight I'm gonna see what other mocktails there are. So a mocktail, for those of you guys who don't know, a mocktail is pretty much like, it's a non-alcoholic beverage. So if you're looking to go out with friends and they're having beverages and you don't wanna drink, just have a mocktail. They're not gonna freaking know the difference. You know, exactly. If, it, if, it, if it's like that, you know what I mean, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what the best part of the cigar is? <laughs> what is it? We got this much left. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I got that much left. <laughs> so here's one thing about Burbank, okay? And I think this is very relative to like small towns in general, okay? Everybody knows everybody in Burbank, okay? That's very true. And somehow, some way, so and so knows so and so. Word gets back to so and so. Shit happens like tonight. You just never know who you're gonna bump into. Some people you might want to see. Some people you don't want to see. But you know what? Somehow you just gotta work it out. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Right, Swivel on the inside here. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know why they call it the blue room. How you doing, man? You, you grooving? Yeah. Yeah? I like the vibes right here. Um, the other side of the bar with those little... Uh, yeah. What do you call those things? 
I have no idea, but I know what you're. Yeah, I, I, that's I, cool. I like those kind of things. Yeah. And everything in here is like light blue. I wonder why they call it the blue room. I don't know. Oh, well, they got a nice little setting. They got really nice chairs over here. It's like they got like a darts. Looks like you just uh, came back from the the bar. What'd you get? Well, I'm not I'm not double fisting. I'm triple fisting. You're triple fisting. So I got two cores. Okay. Because the thing is, it gets crowded in there. I don't want to have to dick around with the line and all that stuff. Right, right. So I just got all my drinks now, and I'll just enjoy them right here. Okay. So I got two cores lights, and in honor of the Big Lebowski, <laughs> I got a White Russian. There you go. Which is very good. Very nice. I got my cigar. My friends. Yeah. We're in Burbank. Life is good, man. Life's good. <laughs> Life's pretty good right now. Oh, yeah. So I just got back uh, from the inside. I got a drink. I got my mocktail. I got a strawberry margarita. Mocktail. No alcohol. Okay. Uh, recognize somebody in there that I hadn't seen in a while. Uh, was not expecting that. Was definitely not expecting that. I'm gonna share the tea once this stops recording. Because <laughs> uh, it's a it's a pretty juicy, uh, pretty juicy tidbit. I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shit happens. Okay, shit happens. But yeah, it's a full moon, man. It's a full moon tonight. It's it's been pretty like, you know, energy's just been up and down. So let me just uh, try a little bit of this. That's really good. It's very refreshing. Now, what did you get, Jacob? You got something? You're the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mocktail too? Yeah. Well, let, me see. <laughs> let me let me see. I have a sip oh, of that. Oh shit, man! <laughs> Cheers. There you go. It's a good mocktail. All right. So as you see here, it looks like uh, we got a nice, interesting little like a bathroom. Like a trough. There's bro. no way I'm peeing in that shit, dude. <laughs> is that a, wait, wait, wait. Is that a urinal or is that like a baby bathtub? I have no idea, oh, wait, man. Wait, 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 wait. So, so here's they have a little special event here. Hold on. So they have a, a little special thing here that looks like they, okay, they got horny goat weed, and then looks like they oh they got uh, protection. Nice. It's nice to know that people are still using protection these days. <laughs> does, horny, does horny goat weed work? Um, I don't know, but let's maybe we should get hey, some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some. <laughs> I wish my parents like uh, All right. protection. Give me some quarters. Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's small in here. <laughs> Don't fall in the urinal. I don't even think this thing works. Oh, come on. I want to try some. I, well, I've I've tried horny goat weed. Well, they made money. Oh, well, injured three quarters at the same time. What? But how does that work? Then you turn it and then turn it like quarter. No, it goes oh. like that, like that. There you go. There it goes. There you got it. What is it coming out in a, in a pack? What are you fingering? <laughs> I don't know where to go. Oh, is Dude. that a glory hole? Did we just lose 75 cents? No, it's right here. Oh! <laughs> All right, so let's see what this is. It looks, looks like, like a match matchbox. Okay, it says body, body play tattoos. Tattoos? What? That's not what you... Is oh, it? okay, maybe it, it, it's in there? What's going on here? Uh, Jacob, are you going to blow me in here? What's yeah, I'm so glad we were able to lock the bathroom. <laughs> There's no way we would be able to... There it is. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. These aren't... This isn't horny goat weed. These are stupid tattoos, dude. Oh, what? It says horny goat weed. Dude, so we got gypped. <laughs> All right, Brandon, you're putting these tattoos on. <laughs> You're gonna put it on your love spot? Yeah, put it on your forehead. <laughs> Dude, there's, so there's no horny goat weed, huh? What about yeah. the condoms? Must see if there's condoms in there? Right, give me more quarters. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that we know how to work this thing. <laughs> this machine is from 19. There better be a condom in there. There's probably gonna be balloons in here. 
There better be a condom in there because I'm getting fucked tonight. <laughs> More tattoos. Okay, that, oh, oh no. that's, that's... Bik bikini condoms. Okay. No, hold on, what's it say? It says made S slimmer for, for the tighter, tighter fit. fit. It's like wearing nothing at all. Closer fitting. Open oh. it up. <laughs> And it, well, it expires in September, so... Uh, of this year? Of this year. <laughs> so, Brendan, uh, we better use these up. Thank you. Making love out of nothing at all. Here, we got, we got your tattoos, too. <laughs> what does the tattoo say? What, is it, what does it show on there? What does it say? It says hearts and hearts on fire. It says hearts, it says hearts oh. on fire? Hold on, let's get a good look at it. No, it says bad girl. <laughs> Bad oh, bad girl in reverse, yeah, so that way when you put it on. All right, well. We're putting this on your ass, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right above, right, 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 right here. All right, guys, I think that, that's our cue. We got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. And here's the uh, outside of the other side. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Good times. Yeah. Wait. So, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, we'll have to give you a tutorial after this video. Is, is this something that goes on my finger and then in someone's ass? Yeah, you could you could say that. <laughs> you could definitely say that. Uh, but that's a wrap, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think this is going to be our spot for the spring and the summertime. Yeah. We're going to bring our cigars and uh, push our luck and you know see what happens. So, could, could you help me put this on? Uh, no. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like this video, like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Feel free to share. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.